the blockages and firewalls that we can get. They actually where they come from is not that relevant. What they're doing to us, that's really, really relevant. The blocks can be really, really sneaky. I've had people who say, I've done the, I've done the uh, fear processing exercise, and people say, I get to a point, and then I can't do it. It doesn't work for me. And that would be a block. You grab those words, it does not work for me, and you use this exercise, because that's a firewall, that's a block. Yeah. So uh, this is actually something we could all do together right now. We could have, if you think about um, something that ends in I can't or starts with I can't do blah, yeah? So think about and in yourself right now, be really honest with yourself and look and see. I want you to say it to, the, to yourself, so say it out loud and then you're going to get Somewhere in your body, you're going to feel that that vibration of those words are at. So find where in your physical, energetic, or mental body that sentence is lodged. Let's look for it. Let's look for it. Find it. I, I find it around here. Yours might express somewhere else in your physical body or in your field. So let's have a look at that energy. When we look at it, we can see it, we can, like, uh, we can interpret it like a color, we can give it a flavor, we can give it a shape, yeah? So what we do is simply look at it without judgment. We don't like to get rid of it, and we're not looking at it to get rid of it. That's important. We allow it to exist. We allow it to be there. Okay, so just feel it and allow it to exist. Look at it with curiosity, but without judgment. Just look at it. Okay. When I'm looking at this one that I can sense, um, I get information like pictures, and that's okay. We welcome all the information that comes in. If you want to express, we can welcome that. Yeah? Those images that come to me, they're my personal vocabulary of how I interpret information. So I have to say, okay, when I look at this, what does that mean to me, Nelia Benz? And when I say it out loud, it feels true to me. If I interpreted it wrong, I would get dissonance in my field, and I would go, okay, I didn't quite get that. So now we're just going to sit, yeah, and allow it to exist, allow it to exist and see, um, am I ready to let go of this? block? Am I ready to let go? So each of us has to ask that. Am I ready to let go? And it's funnily enough, when I look at it here, it's, um, I don't get a clear yes. I get a kind of, um, hmm, maybe. <laughs> I would like to be interested to see if any of you are ready to let go of that block like completely, or whether there is kind of a period of, I want to learn more, I want to do more, yeah? Then, if you're guessing that yes, imagine yourself grabbing it, whether it's from your head, the side of your head, your neck, chest area, uh, visualize yourself just grabbing whatever it, the visuals that you can see, yeah? and pulling it out, gently pulling it out of you, just unblocking it and pulling it out and seeing how you feel without it. Just hold it in your hands for now and see how do you feel with it, without it in your field. Yeah. 
So you pull it out and then what you can do is either put it back on or just keep it in your hands for the next few days or just release it back to source. Yeah. And remember, unconsciously, you might bring it back and then you just do the exercise over again very lovingly, very lovingly without judgment. Yeah. When you have firewalls, um, to get into a computer, the one firewall will trigger another firewall and then you have to go through several of those to get to the, to the engine, you know, to the main uh, program of the computer. And it's a very similar process. Sometimes we get rid of the main or the first firewall and then other ones will pop up to be looked at, observed, allowed to express and dissolved. So, when we become conscious um, of our blocks, if we can't find something, I would say ask somebody who's very close to you and ask them if there's a word or words that you use all the time that are kind of um, stopping you doing things. I have a very good friend who says, I can't see anything. You know? Everybody can see stuff and they're very psychic. I can't see anything. And she's been saying this for years. And she's like, she can see a lot. She's like really gifted. By, but by saying that w those words all the time, she has put this program in her field. So even though she can see stuff, she, she refuses to look and to um, acknowledge the fact that she can see. Yeah? Um, so we have to really watch. We can watch ourselves and identify what blocks we have. The other thing we can do, and this is a very uh, easy one, is to look in a mirror. So we just look in the mirror and see what am I communicating to myself. So if you were to look at yourself in the mirror, think to yourself, okay, um, what does that tell me about me? And what does this tell me uh, about me to others? And you might find blocks there, like social blocks, blocks that stop us from achieving things or getting things, yeah? Uh, there's different ways to find blocks. When you're doing your fear processing exercise, mm, it's very likely that the fear sometimes will vanish and you can't find it, but then it will come back another day. Um, um, sometimes that, that can be a block. It's like, oh, it's gone. I can't find it. I can't find it. Is a block. So you go, okay, uh, energy, I can't find it. Where is it in my field? Where is I can't find it, you know? And then you get information and other things like that. So there's our individual blocks and then there's the collective blocks. And the collective blocks are very much being bombarded to us through our media and to our, all the masses through television, music, uh, movies, books, news, broadcasts, internet, yeah? And the blocks basically, uh, they are sometimes can be um, things that entertain us to keep our attention away from things that really matter, like the alcohol, um, and uh, pharmaceuticals and all those other things as well. And the main one that are, is used on the planet is sex. So the desire to be sexy or the desire to have sex, the use of sex um, in all the media advertising and everything else keeps our attention very much at one particular area of our existence which is actually not very important at all. And by spending a lot of time invested in that energy and attention, um, we don't look to see what's happening, or the masses wouldn't look. We do. We can see stuff happening, but the masses don't. 